from the top of Burlington's College Street Congregational Church, a breathtaking view. Down below, a deep and rich history. It was a pinkish color for, for a number of months. When the stones were originally made, um, they had kind of a pinkish hue to them, and over time they turned yellowish. Tim Jebo is the church sexton in charge of maintaining the church grounds. He says construction on the church started in 1860. The doors were opened in 1868. The nails were actually manufactured right here in Burlington, the old square nails and stuff, which is um, you know, very fascinating. Designed by Louis Tiffany of New York City, it's known as a Tiffany church. According to the archives and stuff, it has the best acoustics of any church downtown Burlington. Inside the sanctuary, the original floor and pews are still in use, crafted from local materials. Besides the chestnut floors here is the fact that the pews are also made out of chestnut and all the, the trim on them and over here also is from walnuts that came from the area also. While the building itself may be significant for its beauty, it also played an important role in history. The Congregational Church was um, the, the first in the area to abolish slavery and also to welcome women. And that same welcoming spirit still exists today. We have gay clergy, we have gay female clergy. This church was founded on the idea that equality is actually not just a good thing, it's a righteous thing. On top of it all, it's new steeple, replacing the one destroyed by arson in 2013. In fact, these are the original windows, which will go back in these same halls and stuff. The original clock will shine here once again, and the bell will ring. The bell was manufactured in Troy, New York. This is the original bell, 3,500 pounds it weighs. That bell will ring again on Sunday for the steeple dedication, marking a new era for this old church. A new spirit, which has been um, here forever, but I think we're rekindling this. It's kind of like a rebirth, um, and with the tower up, it's a, it's a high for everybody. In Burlington, Keel Smith, NBC5 News.